They say that the pen is mightier than the sword, and in horror cinema, in some specific cases, the brain is mightier than the brawn? Yeah, I guess that works, but you get the picture. Although in some cases, don't get me wrong, the best thing is to scream in ravenous anger and fire a gun into the air charged with double entendre. But for the most part, to survive the monstrous hordes of horror cinema, the only course of action is to keep your wits and keep your head. And thankfully, the two of them aren't mutually exclusive. Well, you gobbled up part one of this list, so let's see what else horror cinema has to offer. Hello horror fans, and once again, welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos. Come join us as we we crouch around this metaphorical campfire as we whisper tales of horror cinema's most prolific survivors and take a look at the top five smartest horror victims, part two. Roll the clip. Come on, have a go if you think you're not yeah. Not that guy. For the curious amongst you, that clip was from 2002's Dog Soldiers, which may or may not be a point on this list. Spoilers. Yeah, it is. Now, in part two, you guys had a lot to say about your picks for this particular list, and I hear you. Scream Sydney Prescott was banded around quite a bit, as well as Kirsty from Hellraiser. And while I agree, I'll try and keep the archetypes to a minimum for the sake of keeping things fresh, because there is one final girl left to crown. You'll see what I mean. Kicking off at number five, Cooper, Dog Soldiers. Whoa. I didn't hit him that hard. Something loose. If you've never seen 2002's Dog Soldiers, I would highly recommend it, as it still maintains its rank amongst the greats of British horror cinema to this day. It's great. The British SAS, the Scottish Highlands, and werewolves. What can go wrong? Well, a lot, but whether it's down to Cooper's military training, played by the awesome Scottish actor Kevin McKidd, this guy knew how to keep his head while faced down by a family full of ravenous lichens. Literally. Sorry. That one was too easy. Aside from Cooper's astute military decision making, Dog Soldiers is just a straight up great horror flick. Liam Cunningham, Sean Pertwee and Kevin McKidd give life to what on paper appears to be a pretty doomed plot. And it's not really that hard to make this list when essentially the cast is stacked with specially trained elite soldiers. Although Spoon, played by Darren Morfitt, isn't exactly the sharpest spoon in the drawer. From start to finish, Cooper makes consistently smart choices to keep himself alive, while his fellow cast members sacrifice themselves in glorious explosions and flare swinging football chants. Yeah, it's plot armour, but it's also brilliant. Coming in at number four, Wendy Torrance, The Shining. Please! Don't hurt me! I'm not gonna hurt you. Stay away from me! Wendy! Stay away! Darling! Light of my life! Now, I understand that some points of this list may take some convincing, but hear me out on this one. Wendy Torrance, played by the seminal Shelley Duvall, makes some incredibly smart choices throughout the frantic and chaotic storyline of Stanley Kubrick's adaptation of Stephen King's The Shining. And in the end, alongside her son Danny, she wins while being faced down by her maddening husband Jack, played by the incredible Jack Nicholson. And it's down to one thing, because on the surface, Wendy may not look like she's in control of her actions, and in some ways, she's not, but she's being piloted by one hell of a maternal instinct. As soon as Wendy gets a sniff of real danger against herself and Danny, she's off, out the door, which is something horror characters usually don't get a grasp of. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, and Wendy's out the door. First problem though, the only means of escape the snow cat is disabled. Maternal instinct kicks in and she grabs herself a baseball bat and beats the living hell out of Jack. The rest of the film, Wendy holds onto her life in a white knuckle ride of cat and mouse and it's only down to those pesky Overlook Hotel ghosts that Jack even catches a break. But in the end, Wendy and Danny win and Jack's pretty much boned fraternity. Next up at number three, Mike Harrigan, Predator 2. Out of here, arrogant. I want to save your ass. This is between me and him. Let's not be around the bush. 1990's Predator 2 is one serious tour de force of sci-fi horror action, and it was one lofty task to fill the shoes of our man Major Alan Dutch Schaefer, aka Arnold Schwarzenegger. But believe it or not, there was actually one man for the job. And as a result, we were gifted one of the greatest sci-fi characters of all time, Mike Harrigan, played by Danny Glover, the man who beats around no bushes, especially in an LA concrete jungle, who drops F-bombs like most people 
drop brain cells after watching The Big Bang Theory. Listen, Mike Harrigan isn't necessarily smart in the traditional sense, that's not why he made this list. To quote Laser Time, Mike Harrigan isn't just a loose cannon, he's a loose artillery battalion, and he manages to keep his head in an otherwise sticky situation by sheer force of battery alone. Mike Harrigan couldn't make a bad decision if he tried. It's impossible. And by the climax of the film, Harrigan manages to kill the Predator, aka one of the deadliest sentient creatures in the known universe, with its own weaponry, gaining the respect of the Ucha, which is the only accolade you really need to make this list. Mike Harrigan, everyone. Next up at number two, Evan Olsen, 30 Days of Night. I love this film, I'm not going to lie, and I feel like it never truly received the recognition that it deserved in horror cinema, giving us one of the freshest silver screen depictions of vampires in a long, long time. Yeah, it was probably the sparkly ones that ruined everyone's perception of bloodsucking immortals, but based on the comic book series of the same name by Steve Niles and illustrated by Ben Templesmith, 30 Days of Night depicts the town of Barrow, Alaska, one of the most northern settlements on the planet as they go through a month long period of polar winter. Literally, 30 days of night, no sunlight, and the perfect hunting ground for a gang of ancient vampires. Eben Olsen, played by Josh Hartnett, literally doesn't make a single poor decision throughout this film, and to be fair, the entire cast of resourceful Alaskan locals are pretty good at surviving as a whole. But there's one reason that Eben comes in so high on this list, his ultimate choice of fighting fire with fire, or fighting vampirism with vampirism. At the climax of the film, Evan realises that the only way to ultimately save the survivors, despite them having held on for nearly a month, is to directly confront the vampire leader, Marlo, by becoming a vampire himself and injecting himself with infected blood. And then he punches a hole in his head. If you haven't seen 30 Days of Night, I highly recommend it, and I'll try not to ruin the gravity of the final few moments of the film, but Evan Olsen is one resourceful and awesome Alaskan. Good job, dude. And finally, our number one spot, Laurie Strode, Halloween. Because she MacGyvered a coat hanger into a shank in like 10 seconds while being faced down by one of horror cinema's most villainous villains. Nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. Although that is a reason Laurie Strode makes this list by sheer force of will alone. She has mathematics on her side because she survived the shape for over 40 years of cinematic history. Although she did kind of die twice, but that was a car crash and it's been retconned, so forget about it. She's a survivor and Michael Myers has never quite managed to massacre her. Jamie Lee Curtis is one of horror cinema's most iconic final girls. She perhaps may even be the most iconic, and if we're taking David Gordon Green's 2018 reboot as an example, Laurie Strode would single-handedly take this list with her Kevin McAllister style House of Horror booby trap onslaught. That was a mouthful. She's smart, she's capable, and she doesn't die. She's Laurie Strode. What do you expect? Well, there we have it, horror fans, but before we depart, let's read out some of your more humorous comments from over the past few days. Riffler Underhill says, I love horror, but even more, I love stories that actually give me hope for humanity. And first off, Underhill, eh? Isn't that a shy name? But also, I couldn't agree with you more, and what a wonderful way to put it. Good job, Riffler Underhill. Jaden Haney says, please read this comment in your next vid. Well, there you go, Jaden Haney. I love an easy one. And finally, Dylan Dodge says, if you read this, you cool. Well, I needed that one, buddy. Thanks. Dylan, you're cool too. Cheers for sticking around all the way till the end, horror fans. If you're a fan of this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe bell, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. As always, I've been your horror host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos, and until next time, you take it easy. Mm -hmm.